globally it's forecast that distributed generation assets are going to increase from 2% in the mix to 12% in the mix. And you know, given my home state in New Jersey is within the PJM ISO, I can believe that because 8% of our grid is balanced by demand resources, which is an incredible kind of figure that's largely supported by natural gas assets. The other kind of speaker I want to reference was Jesse Jenkins, who did a fascinating talk from MIT. And Jesse talked about, you know, the future is here, it's just not distributed evenly. And I think that's true. And it's because technology differs by, you know, where it is. And we see that in our own offerings. That said, there is no unicorn. You know, natural gas, solar, battery, none of it is unicorns. And we do believe in a mature approach to bringing technology in. You know, solar is a fantastic resource, but all of us understand the issue of intermittency. We can't dispatch the sun and tell it to arrive when we want it to be there. And it's a conundrum because all of us want to see kind of low carbon, low, you know, low cost energy in an environmentally friendly way. And therefore solar is fantastic. And as we've seen in, you know, in places like California, they've had a wonderful mix of the right incentives to really embrace solar at both the utility and the distributed scale. However, solar has this weird you know, intermittency that it's not just shifting you know, hour to hour when you want it to, you take the, solar, you know, the sun when it shines, which leads us to the concept of the duck curve, which all of us understand in California means the shape of the intraday load has changed. And so instead of being a broad hill that comes up and down, it's inverse because that daytime production solar pushes down net demand, and then you need a ramp up of assets to carry you out there. Natural gas is a perfect generation asset to take us out that curve. And that's what we've seen on the centralized power scale, that natural gas and solar, you know, particularly in North America, is really stepping up the generation curve and adding the responsiveness we see. Solar, fantastic, but intermittency challenges. So how can you solve for that problem? Well, one obvious way is battery storage. You know, we heard you know, in a talk today, um, Edison International talk about storage being the wild card that can solve for this problem. And I think it could be true. However, there are other things that can, that, that can solve a problem for a customer. Combined heat and power, a natural gas fired way of generating not just electricity, but thermal needs for a customer, is already well below any long-term intended car cover battery, which gives customers a genuine other alternative to think about.